Do you ever feel like you just want to see the world burn? Because that's how I'm feeling right now. I hope you can hear me. I'm in the airport. I am heading to Atlanta for a girls weekend. I hate that I'm recording this in public. I still haven't gotten used to that. I am online for Starbucks. Super long. I'm hoping I don't miss my flight. I mean, I'll obviously get off the line if I'm going to miss my flight, but it is raining as we're leaving. I'm hoping the weather clears before takeoff a bit more. There was like a tornado warning in South Jersey, which made me slightly uncomfortable, even though I'm in North Jersey. I was like, okay, I don't want to hear about any tornado warning. Oh, I got my nails done for the trip. Cute. That Starbucks drink, that Bix drinks, she has me hooked. Fix, it's your fault. I'm hooked on egg bites and the brown sugar shaken espresso. So today the plan is when I get off the plane, we're going to the vineyard, picking up a Tesla, and then the rest of the day we're turning up. I'm running on currently four hours of sleep. That is my fault. Should be a really fun weekend, and I hope you enjoy seeing my first day. You know how on the ticket it usually has like the gate, and then it has like, you know, where you sit, whatever. On my ticket, there is no gate, so hoping I figure that out before the flight <laughs> or else it's leaving me because I literally don't know what gate and it's not on the virtual ticket, so <gasps> I'll figure it out. Great. Everything is great. Everything is wonderful. Here's my camera. I'm not filming on my camera because look at my camera. What is it? What's in there? Nothing. No memory card. And I am here at the studio. Memory card is at home. So here we are. Hello, welcome to the day. Mad annoying already because it just took, ugh, I just, it was a lot. And I don't feel like going back home right now. Uh, everything hurts. Yeah, I don't feel like going back home right now to get my memory card because I have a lot of work to do. I'll say hi to you on my iPhone because that's what's up, baby. Welcome to the day. It is Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. My skin looks like trash. Everything. I'm falling apart, guys. Last week, you saw me going like to the doctor with all my medications. Well, like this week is not any better. Now, on top of all of that stuff, I also have a really, really bad toothache, which is really funny because if I can find this footage as well in a vlog, like three weeks ago or something, I'm in the car and I go out like this to my cheek. And now that whole tooth, like, is all kinds of fucked up so i think that this was like a long time coming i'm gonna if i find that footage i'm gonna put it in because i remember being like oh, ow. oh my god there's people oh, ow my tooth ouch but there's people practicing tap dancing and now like i can't chew on the side of my mouth and now this side of my mouth is like broken maybe because i'm chewing on this side yeah <gasps> Oh no. So my mouth is broken, my body's broken, my skin is broken, and this is just gonna be a great day. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. I have some like emails to send to schools in California. We'll talk about that later. So I'm gonna get to this and then I'm gonna go home and get my memory card and then I'll see you guys then because then I could show you my outfit. Here's a sneak peek. Okay, bye. So there was no more room on the plane, so I had to check my luggage. But I got my Starbucks. I hate checking my luggage. I had a bad experience where my luggage was lost, so start for life.
Welcome. My hair is so dirty. I'm aware of it and I'm letting you know that I'm aware of it because it's very apparent so I'm sure that you're aware of it. But I'm doing it for a reason. Yeah, so my hair, I don't know. I feel very bored of my hair. Like, it's getting longer. This is the longest my hair has been in years like in a really really long time 2014 i chopped my hair to like here and it hasn't been longer than like my shoulder since then really so it's been a pretty long time and i think i'm gonna like grow it out a little bit more but i'm thinking of doing i think i want curtain bangs and i've always wanted curtain bangs i had curtain bangs at a time i mean they were kind of an accident i had like the zoe de chanel bangs and then as they were growing out i just like made them into curtain bangs so but this time i think i want real curtain bangs i'll put up a couple of pictures to show you like the vibe that i'm kind of going for but at the same time i also think i want layers every time i cut layers into my hair i hate them and i tell myself never do that again but i feel like i'm gonna do it again because i'm bored so let me know what you think of those pictures that I'm posting. And do you think I should do it? Because like, I feel like I can't do anything with my hair because it's just like, it's just like this, you know? Like it's all just like one length all the way across. When I straighten it, it's just straight. I never really curl it, but that's the other thing. So here's my other, my other dilemma. My hair is curly. I believe that I'm like a two, I think I'm somewhere around like the 2B. I think it might be like between 2A and 2B because of how much I've damaged my hair over the years by like using heat on it so often. So the reason my hair is dirty now is because I ordered the Denman brush. If you guys haven't heard of the Denman brush, it's like a huge trend right now for the curly girl method. You like brush it and flip it and it's supposed to like define your curls nicer. Yeah, I want to try that out because I do have curly hair, but my problem is that it gets so tangled that like I have to brush it and then when you brush it you kind of like mess up your curl pattern so that's why like the Denman brush is supposed to be so good because like it helps to find the curl pattern while also allowing you to like brush it and yeah my curls are also very uneven so I don't often leave my hair curly because when it's curly I have to like touch it up and then I'm just using heat and curling random pieces and it just all looks crazy and it takes so much time i just think it would be so cute to have like my curly hair and my cute little curtain bangs and just be like a whole new fucking bitch you know what i mean well that sounded mad aggressive i'm sorry i ordered my denman brush it's supposed to be coming today let me check and i also ordered a diffuser attachment for my blow dryer out for delivery okay so they should all be arriving by 10 p.m tonight so hopefully it's earlier than that so i can use it tonight should i cut my hair should i get bangs am i going through a crisis should i get bangs comment down below if you think i should get bangs and also comment down below if you don't think i should get bangs and also comment down below if you think i should get a different hairstyle what do you think i should do should i dye my hair should i go blonde i won't i am stalling because i have to do some work right now and i'm gonna get some emails sent to some schools Right in this like little mall that I work in, there's an Ulta Beauty, so I might stop by Ulta and see if they have any good like curly hair styling products because I'm going full curly girl method, bro. I feel so dumb. <laughs> uh, social media is so weird, but you know what? Here we are. Here we are. I'm gonna do this and then we'll go to Ulta. Fun fact, I get severe motion sickness and I usually end up throwing up. Before I went on the plane, I took um, drama me. It was not effective and I threw up the entire flight. Like, why am I like this? My stomach is so sensitive. And let me tell you, throwing up coffee and egg bites is gross. Yeah, so now I'm going to baggage claim even though I got a carry-on, which I thought I'd be able to bring on the plane, but they ran out of space. And as you saw on the plane, there's plenty of space, whatever. <sighs> this, is, this is starting off really well. But yeah, I'm going to go grab my bag. So I am waiting to be picked up. I am outside. got my luggage, so I'm sitting on it because there's no seats. 
and I'm gonna get changed in the car. So, because we don't have time to like go back to the house and whatever, uh, and go to the winery, so I'm just gonna do a transformation in the car. I'm sorry that most of it has just been me like talking, but I promise the day is gonna get better. And I already feel a little bit better. I got some seltzer water, so I'm gonna touch up my makeup a bit in the car and transform, baby. Not bad for someone who was just puking for over an hour. I'm gonna stall a little bit more and show you my outfit. I'm just trying to be more fun, like I said, and apparently whenever I try to be fun, like this jacket is just like my go-to, but I feel like it's just so funky and like, it's so good to be mixed match with like different patterns. So I have my little daisy skirt that actually has like a matching off the shoulder, like long sleeve flowy top, which is really cute. Everything here was thrifted. I don't know where these shoes are from, honestly. And I have pills in my pockets. And a fork, because I was eating an egg bite in the car. So yeah, so this is my cute little outfit. My cute little blue socks. And my dead lady purse. How cute! Look at me, a little freaking fashionista. I went to some estate sales with my boyfriend last week, and he bought me this dead lady bag. And dead lady pants. And a dead lady jacket. So, we're just dead ladying it up. Okay, I gotta get to work. Wow, so right now they're getting a lesson on it. How sick! Is that my Bessie and a Tessie? Hey! Oh! Get in there, Alex. There's Alex! <laughs> yeah, there's no engine, guys. Because it's a Tessie. Let's look at the trunk space. You might be, oh, it's good trunk space too. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna try. Oh, am I doing this right, Abby? Oh, I have to actually pull it. I love that for me. Thank you. And this is the inside. Look at the interior. Wow. Cool. I'm gonna show you guys everything. All right, well, I'm gonna get changed in the back seat now. Bye. We're learning how to operate this car. What's that mean? It's like dinging, but it doesn't say seatbelt. Put your seatbelt on all of you. <laughs> the car is breaking on its own. That's <laughs> <laughs> so sick. Um, Bro, it's speeding up by itself. Oh, I'm never driving again. Carlos is going to be so pissed. <laughs> She's not on the brakes. You guys, this car is just driving itself right now. Yeah. Look at this. Look, I'm just chilling. I'm not doing anything. I'm on my phone. My eyes are closed. Look. <laughs> So I was literally just about to head over to Ulta. I didn't send any emails, but I did. Um, but I did make a list of like a bunch of other schools in LA to email. It kind of sucks because a lot of schools already have yoga. So it's kind of hard to be like, hey, I see that you already have yoga on your schedule, but like, you want to fire them and hire me? <laughs> So I changed because I was about to head out to Ulta and then I got an email that somebody signed up for my 3 o'clock class. So I've got a preteen class with an 11 year old girl, which I'm so excited for. I really, I realized that I really like the, I really like the preteens. I was always like so into just like doing ages 2 through 5, but I've been doing a lot of like preteen classes and I'm like kind of loving it. Like they're so cool. So I'm just going to teach this class quick. She should be here in like 10 minutes and then. And I'm gonna run over to Ulta and see if I can get some, I don't know, leave-in condition? Curl defining cream? I don't know, does anybody have curly hair? Can you guys tell me what to get? I need help.
like to say something. I was not ready for that. The sommeliers are in town, and we are trying some drink. This is a rosé, very fruity. Alex is showing the technique that we use to so, sip and understand the wine. Oh, it's why are you keeping your eyes open while you drink the wine? Um, <laughs> whenever, whenever you drink wine or anything or do anything, your eyes should be open so that your senses are on. Amazing. Thank you for that. Great job. Yo, I literally have no idea what this vlog is going to be about, but I love the preteen classes. I was so nervous about working with kids in that age range and teenagers in general. Like I, you know, teenagers are scary people. Preteens are like the new teenagers because a six year old now is pretty much like equivalent to a 13 year old. So it's just the way that um, societal math works. Every single time I always go in and I'm so stressed and I'm like, oh my God, I need to be perfect. I need to do this, I need to do that. And then I do the class and it just goes so well. So I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really happy about that. And I'm hoping I can continue to do more classes like this. And I'm really, I'm really just happy to know that I'm not stuck teaching one group. I know that I love the two through five age. It's just really comforting to know that I'm capable of doing more than that. I always thought like, oh no, I can only work with twos. I can only work with this. Like I don't know how to like, but I do. I totally fucking do. I'm feeling really happy. And it also just helps me remember that whenever I'm not teaching, I feel like and I'm not that good. Or like, I don't really want to do this. Is this really what I want? And then I teach a class. And after the class, I'm like, yo. Hi. Yeah, and then every time after the class, I feel so good. So just like energized and like confident. Like I feel like I feel confident in myself. And that was the whole theme of today's class. I really like to focus on independence and confidence and self-love. And that's what we kind of worked on today. And it worked. I hope it worked for her because it really worked for me. I'm feeling really good right now. So thank you for letting me change back into my outfit on camera. And now I think I'm going to go pop over to Ulta and get some uh, leave-in conditioner so I could try my curly girl method because I'm going to be a curly bitch with bangs guys really let me know should i get bangs also do you like this outfit i think it's so cute but i don't know i'm not i'm really i'm i suck at style all right come to let's go to ulta come with me to ulta recording inside of Ulta but I'm back home and this is what I got I didn't get a lot because I was overwhelmed I usually do like a crazy amount of research on literally every single thing I purchase before I purchase it so this was like the first time that I like went in with no fucking game plan no rules bus another bus club no sleep 
and I got some stuff. I stuck with one brand because this is the brand that I see people talking about the most and there was like a couple other things that I really wanted to get but it didn't seem like they had at Ulta that I had to like go to the drugstore for. Um, so I will be doing that another day because I forgot and I drove straight home. Okay, so I got the Shea Moisture, um, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Repair Shampoo. My toxic trait is that I still use Tresemme. You see the rainbows on me from my window? How cute! Look at that! Love it! Yeah, so I still use like Tresemme and like that's really not good for your hair. But I have a problem because I hate the feeling of your hair when you use the shampoos that are good for you because it makes your hair like sticky and it's not like super soft. But that's why you use a... We'll get there. I got the shampoo. It has shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar, and that's supposed to be like really good for your hair, really good for your scalp. And then I got the conditioner that goes with it. So super simple, just a nice shampoo and conditioner so I can stop using the trash stuff that's really, really bad for your hair. Um, and then to make my hair not feel dry and sticky and disgusting because it doesn't have all those chemicals in it that makes your hair feel like really soft and smooth and clean, even though it's not really soft and smooth and clean, like it's just all fake. I got the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie, also from Shea Moisture, but I... Made a salad. This light is crazy. The, the rainbows, is this making anybody else stressed out? Cause I'm feeling a little stressed out about it. With kale, cabbage, almonds, sunflower seeds, and some raisins. And that's really up. Did I tell you guys that I'm gluten free and dairy free now? Because of my Lyme? Did I tell you guys I have Lyme disease? What the fuck? Yeah, I have Lyme disease. So I'm taking a bunch of medications. I also have a whole bunch of other problems I found out about. My tooth fucking hurts. I can't have cheese. I can't have bread. I can't have ice cream. I mean, I did get a lot of dairy-free ice cream, so that's good. Um, ow. Oh, you know what I could also do? I could show you my clothes. But do I want to? Do you want to see them? Or do you want to just watch me eat this salad? Because I don't really feel like showing you them. I'll show them to you later, if anything. I'm going to enjoy my salad for now. Yeah, that's really it. That's really all that's going down with me. Gluten-free, dairy-free. Trying to get my curls back. Moving to California. I don't think I told you guys about that. I told you before. Hold on. We'll talk about it later. Now it's later so we could talk about it real quick. I'm moving to California. Don't ask. It's happening. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be really great and really different for me. I'm definitely New York at heart. So I'm a little nervous and pretty stressed and deeply terrified but at the same time i'm like super excited super hopeful extremely positive about it honestly and i feel like if i didn't do this i would never do anything else so i think it's just like a crazy wild thing that i'm gonna do and it's gonna feel crazy and wild up until i do it and then when i do it it's still gonna feel a little crazy but then everything's just gonna settle like everything right now is like everywhere but i feel like eventually things are finally just gonna settle things will make sense and i'll see how it goes it's gonna be great i have friends out in la i got my best friend out there i got my other best friend out there slash my boyfriend so it's gonna be great it's all gonna be great do you think i'm trying to convince myself oh my tooth bitch I don't know why I'm doing this. It came, it was delivered, and here we go. Let's open it up. That was not secure. Did you see that? That was like off, and all I did was go like this, and like, that was not securely wrapped, I have to say, Amazon. Oh, oh, I forgot I ordered these. Oh my God, they're so fucking cute. They're pandas, but with rainbows. This is incredible, oh my God. I'm so happy. Also, I've got my... I hope it's focusing. I can't see. But this is apparently the Denman brush. It's not, like, branded. So, I don't know if I got the right one, if it has to be by the brand, but I doubt that. Let's see. So, here's the brush. It just has these, like, silicone bristles. Okay, I think you're supposed to, like do that with it when you brush it you know i don't know i'm gonna have to watch a video but so this is the brush the very special brush and then i've got the diffuser oh i'm showing you the bottom of the box 
the diffuser. So it's supposed to attach to like any blow dryer. So it has this here so it can like stretch. Oh, you twist it to fit any size blow dryer. And then it came with one of these little silicone scrubs for your hair. When you're in the shower, make sure you get all that fucking gross shit off your head. Okay. I'm gonna go take a shower and we'll see what happens. Thank you for coming to my unboxing. I love you. a glass of wine took a shower watched a shit ton of tutorials on tiktok and i think it's just time i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna see how it goes and hope for the best so let's do it so i took a shower and i used all of those products that you saw and you can already see that my hair is like pretty curly wet but like nothing really that good it's kind of just like all over the place and a mess so we're gonna try to fix that and they say to get your hair nice and loose section it off so i'll start at the bottom i guess Okay, so I'm taking some. I don't know how much to use like this. Is that a lot? Okay, I put some back and I'm just gonna smooth it out. Oh my god, I feel crazy for doing this. I never do anything crazy to my hair. Moment of truth. Oh, 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 the towel. I have sensory issues. I can't have things on my hands. Oh, moment of truth. Here we go. So you take it up, up, and oh shit, you feel like why is it so hard to brush through my hair? Okay up and twirl around the brush where is it is it this this is so hard to do in a camera instead of a mirror it still looks a little wonky but okay let's keep going Now I have to put some gel in it and diffuse, but I have to move my car for my neighbor, so hold on. Okay, so I'm hiding my hair um, to give you a nice big reveal because I've literally been fucking sitting not sti- Do you ever feel like you just want to see the world burn? Because that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm in the studio. I'm editing the video. I'm at the motherfucking end of the video i get to the outro where i do the whole curly hair method reveal that you've been watching for i think like 26 minutes so far and my outro clip right before i show you my hair cuts out but i didn't want to leave you guys like too hanging because that would be so fucked up of me so i'm gonna show you my hair now it came out really bad i'm actually kind of I'm not happy about it, but like I'm kind of happy that I'm getting to film this little clip because it looked so bad that night and I knew it was gonna look bad. I never put product in my hair. My hair gets greasy just like thinking about mousse. I put so much product in that my hair did not dry. My curls, like they were curled, they were defined, but they were just looked wet. They looked greasy. It was so fucking disgusting, bro. So I took a shower the next day and I did it again without any of the curl cream, only like a little bit. So this is what my hair looks like. It's been, I think like a day and a half or something. It's not horrible, but it's not the best. Also, do you see how blonde I am, guys? Blonde and curly with blue eyes. Call me fucking Suzy Q. That wasn't the right one. Shirley Temple, there she is. Um, so yeah, so here's the hair. Here are the curls. Like, they look nice, but they only look nice if I, like, do this. Because if I part it... Does this look nice? I don't know. 
The curls are like, they're all a mess. So this is, this is it. This is what happened. I think I'm gonna just like keep, they say the more you do it, like the more defined and restored your curls will become. So I'm hoping that that happens, but it's just gonna be mad annoying to deal with all the time because that was a lot. If you have any curly hair type recommendations, just let me know because this is like not it. Good morning. Of course, it's the next day. Last night, we hit up two clubs after dinner and by the time I got home, which was like around 3, 3.30, I was like beat. So I just wanted to go to bed, but I have to say bye to you guys. And I want to thank you guys so much for supporting our channel. We really appreciate you. Make sure to spread the word, share this video, like, comment, subscribe. We post a new video every Monday. We have a new podcast episode every Wednesday, so make sure to check that out on like all major streaming platforms. You'll, you'll be able to find us, no, no worries. Tell your friends, tell your family, and I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna leave you guys off with that, and I'm gonna leave you guys off with that. Oh my god, there's so many fucking cars. Can you... Now I'm going to leave you guys off with that. I'm going to get going and enjoy the rest of my trip. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.